What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here and welcome back to the channel for another hair product review and this week we are finally, finally talking about the Northern Lights Matte Paste from Sheer Revival. So this is a product that has been requested so many times and it's been just sheer revival in general has been on my radar forever. So I'm really happy that I finally just fucking bought the stuff and been trying it out for a couple weeks and I'm ready to get into this Northern Lights. So Northern Lights is their matte paste product that advertises a firm hold, a matte finish as you would probably expect, and it comes in at $17 US. Now the packaging is something that you're probably familiar with if you've bought some other homebrew products before, and it comes in this four ounce or 113 gram amber glass jar, got a black aluminum lid on there, and then there's stick on labeling around the sides. Now, I like the packaging. I think it's a classic type of pomade jar. I'm, I'm a sucker for a glass jar too. I just, I don't know why, I just like that. And for the branding, the labeling, I just really like it. It looks clean, it's simple, it's easy to read, and I really like the artwork. It's got those like metallic bits in there. I just think it looks really cool. And one thing that you see on the side of their labels is their kind of slogan that says, made by the mindful. So we'll get into that a little bit more in a minute when we touch on the ingredients. But first, we gotta do my favorite category, Oh, fuck me. Oh, it, oh, it's so good. So this is advertised as a citrus, oak moss, and sage scent, which those three things like tick all the boxes for me. And oh, it smells so good. It's You get the citrus first and it's just like really light and really clean smelling. And then you get a little bit of that earthiness from the sage and the oak moss. Oh, fucking bomb scent, dude. And as far as, I mean, it's not super strong, so I, every once in a while throughout the day, if I'm like restyling, I might catch a little whiff of it and it's like, oh yes, thank you. Um, but it's not anything that will clash with a cologne or anything like that. All right, now let's briefly get into the ingredients. So I mentioned a minute ago, their slogan of made by the mindful and what they're going for with that, their ingredients are 98% plant derived. They've got a lot of natural things in here and a lot of things that are going to be actually really good for your hair, promote healthy hair growth. So taking a quick look at the list in the first spot, instead of regular water, they use air, aloe, aloe leaf juice, aloe leaf juice. There we go, we got there. Uh, next we have white, Howling Clay, Kaolin, Sarah Alba Beeswax, and then a lot of things that we're used to seeing like castor seed oil. We've got carnauba wax in there. I fuck, I said it wrong again. Kaolin Clay. I have to like get used to that. It's Kaolin. Kaolin. Anyway, then we've got, let's see, uh, sunflower seed oil, emulsifying wax, cocoa seed butter, castor oil, um, calendula oil, and I've got a couple things I've written down here. So the calendula oil is in there as a dandruff preventative, lemon oil, lime oil, there's your, for your scents and things. And then in the last spot, we've got clary sage oil, and that is in there to actually promote healthy hair growth. And also on the label, you'll find little symbols for things like it's not tested on animals, they promote recycling. So just lots of good stuff that the company is doing that I appreciate. All right, now we'll get into application and styling. So we're gonna start out with the scoop and the breakdown. Having a look inside the jar, you'll see this thing that you're probably used to seeing, this kind of off-white, tannish color, uh, paste, clay-like substance. And you do need a bit of pressure to get it out of the jar, but once you get it into the hands, it breaks down super smooth and creamy. And initially you will feel just a slight amount of grip and dryness in the hands from the clay and the wax content. And now we're gonna look into the demo footage to see exactly what that means when you're styling it into your hair. All right, guys, so here we are with clean, dry hair. And in case you're wondering, because my hair is looking snatched right now, um, <laughs> this time I did wash it with the Morris Motley treatment cleansing oil. And the only thing I put in as a pre-styler is my usual 25 spray, which just does magic for my hair. So it's looking pretty good. I think I've also started to finally understand how to blow dry this back Kalki section that always likes to pop out this way. Um, so I think, I think we're gonna get there today. I'll take a fairly small scoop to start. Now I always style into dry hair, but it does actually say on their website for this that the, uh, for best results to style it into dry hair. So here we go. First scoop in. And yes, this is something that for me normally does not ever happen with matte paste. And that is a super smooth and comfortable application. I mean, there's zero tug and pull. You can already see the texture starting to come in 
Now I definitely recommend that you take small scoops and layer in order to dial up the hold. But I mean, really, like, that small scoop is enough to have a super fucking badass, just natural flowy look, which I am all about. So, like, part of me wants to just leave it exactly like this, because I live for this. Like, this is my preferred hairstyle, to be honest. But they are saying it's a firm hold, so in order to test the hold, I am going to go in with another small scoop. Because um, while it is very light right now, it honestly, like, it, it does stay in place really nicely. So with this additional tiny scoop, that should be plenty for me. Boy, look at all those colors in there, yes. And all right, so like even the second scoop is nice and smooth. I mean, definitely you feel the grip at this point, but it's nothing unbearable at all. And it's, it's like a nice grip because you can tell that it's gonna have some control and you can tell that the hold is building in but it doesn't feel like it's ripping hairs out. It still feels nice and smooth. And look at it, like it's, it's matte, like it's pretty much an instant set in terms of the finish, but it keeps the natural shine of my hair in, so it doesn't look dry as fuck like most other matte pastes do for me. All right, so two scoops is going to do it for me. I certainly could layer in more if I wanted it to be like firm in the sense that it's just gonna completely stay still, uh, but as most of you guys know, I like my hairstyle to have some natural bounce and flow to it. And while this does still feel bouncy and lightweight and flowy, um, it does, like I can tell that the control is there and that it's going to stay in place. All right, now as far as the endurance on this, let's take a look at this. This is about eight hours later. So you can see some very, very slight loss in volume maybe, but the texture still looks amazing. The hair feels super lightweight um, and it's very easy to finger comb back into shape. And what I've noticed, which I am a super fan of any product that does this for someone like me who's got a dry, wavy, coarse hair type, I'm like always happy about. And that's that the longer it's in my hair, the softer and better my hair feels and looks. Now, as far as washing this stuff out, um, it is so kind of water-based with that aloe leaf juice. Hey, I said it right that time in the first spot. Uh, and it does say on their website that it washes out 100% with shampoo. And I agree with that. I find for me, it rinses out probably like 90 or 95% with water alone. And so, you know, something like a light shampoo or an oil cleanser or something will easily take the rest of that out of your hair. All right, so overall thoughts on the Northern Lights matte paste. Fucking bomb, dude. I really, really love this stuff. It's It's got like the best of both worlds of matte pastes. So on one side, it behaves as you would expect a matte paste to. It's got a matte finish. It's got a clay-like texture. It's super lightweight in the hair, and it has that firm hold. But on the other side, which at least for me and my hair type, I don't see a lot of other matte pastes pull this off is that smooth application. It's like the perfect matte finish, so it's not too dry. It doesn't give me those tangly fucking ends that I hate. And although it's a firm hold in the sense that it will stay in place all day, it still just feels like really soft and flowy and it's got a nice natural bounce to it and it's really easy to like finger comb and readjust, which is something that I like because I'm weird and I like to just fuck around with my hair all day. And that scent, boy, fuck. So yeah, basically this ticks all the boxes of like an ideal matte paste, especially even, I mean like 17 bucks for four ounces and you use so little at a time, like this will be on your shelf for a while. And I believe it's kind of small and I'm getting to be an old man and it's a little bit hard for me to see, but I believe it says that the uh, shelf life after opening is 18 months, which is longer than most. Most hair products I find are 12 months, so yeah. So love it, love it, love it. I can understand why there is so much like hype around this product and why everybody is like, Northern Lights, man, fuck it up, like use it. Um, totally get that now. It is a wonderful matte paste. So kudos to She Revival. I think it's excellent. And if you haven't tried it yet, definitely worth checking out. So that does it for today's review, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I have so many exciting products coming up. I've got the new Stickmore drops, their Boost Tonic and Styling Cream, which, um, spoiler, I've actually been testing those for like months in the testing phase. So now that they're finally here, um, that review is coming out next. I've got some uh, Oliver J. Woods kind of higher end products to test out. I've got firsthand supply. Um, I just, I, I got like a product revisit of Shavu stuff coming up, plus their new ocean spray product. I mean, I just, I have so much to do. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to all of it. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all that. And as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one.